soaps, bath bombs, and beard bombs. Jimmy sounds like he might want to pay close attention to this one. You can find it all at Uncle John's Soap Shop in Berlin. We sent 1025 WWC's Corey Phoebus to Uncle John's to get his hands dirty, clean, whatever. Anyway, he's going to show us how these neat products are actually made. Uncle John's Soap Shop. Such a simple name. However, this local business of Berlin is anything but simple. With an array of useful home products, Uncle John's Soap Shop is a cornucopia of fragrant treasures and trinkets that all started with John, his wife, and an idea. So my wife was researching laundry soap recipes online. She wanted me to make our laundry soap so we could save a few bucks, maybe go a little greener. And uh, so I, I followed one of her recipes, hated it, trashed it, started from scratch with my own same same contents same uh, ingredients and uh, success you know we had a perfect recipe the second time and went with it as a patron of uncle john's soap shop i tend to gravitate toward their beard products when a man has a beard like john's you trust his opinion when it comes to beard care but how did we go from sweet skin softening soap to beard products for furry faces as i was creating the business and expanding the business you know it's normal to add body scrubs and bath salts and things like that. And most people think of women's products. And uh, a lot of my friends had beards and asked if I could make them beard products. They were looking for beard oils first and then they started talking about balms. And some of the guys wanted to grow their mustache out and you know style it. So mustache wax was the next natural progression. John's shop isn't only a beautiful display of everything we could use for our daily routines, it's also a bit of a laboratory. Most of the consumable products are made right here in the store. But we, we sell bath bombs, uh, bubble baths, bath soaking salts, laundry soap, accessories, all kinds of accessories, nail brushes to sponges to loofahs. Well, since you say that most of the products in the store are made in the store, I gotta be a part of the business. How do I make soap? Well, let's get you started. So we started, I started you out a little bit ahead of time. Okay. I mixed the lye with the water and I mixed some of our solid oils and heated them to liquid. Okay. Now you're gonna add the last of the liquid oil to that. All right, how much do I need of this? Just pour the whole thing in? Two pounds, 8.5 ounces. Oh, okay, and you have a scale set up here. Yep. I feel like a chemist already. <laughs> You're gonna take your fragrance. Today we're making black tie fragrance, which is a musk, kind of a manly, yeah, that's formal nice. scent. Yeah, cool. And you're gonna do four ounces of that. Four ounces, and this is a one ounce cup or a half? That is correct. Okay. 30 milliliters, one ounce. So four of these? Yep. Stay down. Stay down, it gets a little, <laughs> gets a little messy. <laughs> yeah, it does. All right. Now, everything's incorporated. Yeah. You can take this with your left hand. Okay. And you're gonna, Moderate speed, go ahead and pour it in over here. While I'm mixing? Yep. Okay. Is that a good speed? A little bit faster. There you go. Good? Yep. Man, you look at that it. thicken right up there. Yep, it'll start to emulsify. All right, I think you're just about there. All right. So you, now you're gonna take that bowl and you're gonna pour it into that mold. All right. And you wanna go, if you can, from the side this side? Yeah, because when it starts to pour, it kind of spreads out a little bit as it pours the stream. Okay. So go ahead and pour with a little bit of speed. There you go. A little bit faster. Like that? Yep. You got it. And it's loose enough that it should all fill in the cavities just fine. Look, guys, I'm a soap maker. <laughs> all right. And this whole thing should fit, right? Absolutely. Well, I did add like six extra ounces of oil. So. That's all right. <laughs> all right. We won't want to move the mold around too much. Last little bit. Yeah. And then we wait for that to harden, I'm assuming. Absolutely. How long does that take? That is, we usually let it sit at least 24 hours in the mold. Um, so sometime tomorrow morning, I'll go ahead and take it out of the mold and peel the plastic off the sides and let it sit for probably a couple more hours. We'll cut it into bars and then the bars will sit for another day or two before I wrap them. Cool. Awesome. Well, thank you for showing me this. Absolutely. Glad to have you aboard. Berlin is compiled of beautiful local businesses. Businesses that rely on each other and rely on you to shop locally. So yeah, honestly, I think if, if your town is important enough to you, you'll shop local. We all get along great around here. We're always helping each other out. 
I think I'm going to have to go spend an afternoon there someday. I think that you should get you some beard wax or uh -huh. balm yeah. or whatever. Get some, get some oil. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds nice. Look for a new uh, customer real soon. <laughs>